Welcome everyone to another NRG, another shoot 'em up NRG, and this is ZTB or Mission Genocide, more commonly known as. ZTB has been a bit of a bafflement for other people. What does it stand for? It actually stands for Zap the Bad Stars. Bad Stars being a play on bastards, clearly. And it's a vertical scrolling shoot 'em up that is very unique to the Amstrad indeed. And um, <clears throat> as we play the game, we're going to discuss why. Here's a little uh, menu screen here. Well, it's not really a menu screen. It's just a start screen. It shows you your power-ups, things you need to blow up, and stuff. Uh, yes, it's a vertical scrolling shoot 'em up Level 1, outpost, give them hell. It's got lots of uh, little bits of humour in it as well. And here we go. And people will notice it's actually quite a basic-looking shooter. There's not a lot of detail going on, obviously, in the backgrounds or the sprites. They're very polygon-esque. Polygon <coughs> I tried to get that out. didn't work, did it? Uh, but what there is really an abundance of is a very unique presentation style and it's got a vertical overscan so it's using the border areas of the Amstrad screen and it's also using a very very smooth almost pixel perfect vertical scroll now this is akin to a hardware scroll and as most people commonly sort of assume that the Amstrad doesn't have a hardware scroll as such it certainly doesn't have onboard hardware assistance uh, to scroll but it does have its uh, cathode ray tube controller chip which can be tricked into doing certain little uh, duties and one of them duties is what's called a screen break and this is what's happening at the moment it's using the screen break technique and I believe um, this is probably one of the only games to successfully utilize this technique it was I don't know whether it was that complicated to program but what you did come with it was limitations in what you could do on screen for instance uh, details of uh, your sprites and the movement and stuff but what we do achieve is very fast movement very good response and very smooth scrolling and here we go to the second stage that's the first stage over essentially what the screen break is doing is separating the HUD from the blown up by the strawberries dear um, essentially what the screen break is doing is separating the uh, bottom HUD from the rest of the game screen it's a very complicated technique, and I don't know the ins and outs of it, uh, but uh, that's what's been going on. I think um, Warhawk is another game that tries uh, some sort of uh, cathode ray tube uh, tricks as well. But the result is this very smooth, very fast, and very fluid on uh, shoot 'em up, and it's got some decent sound effects. And uh, yeah, you bomb in the ground as well, you automatic bomb. If you hold fire, you've got a rapid fire, and if you. Uh, tap fire then you get to shoot the bombs as well as your fire so it's got a little bit to it it's a tough game it's power-ups it's entertaining and uh, the fact that it's so smooth and so fast is also extremely addictive it's very to me it's a very addictive game this and I've just absolutely nailed myself there been getting squashed by these weird creatures it's got a nice sense of humor to it as well with odd bizarre sort of madcap parodious dar style enemies strawberries and flying bananas and other little weird things um, you've got bits of poo flying at you I think in stage t uh, three there's the cherries it's like uh, the attack of the um, the attack of the fruit machine has come at you isn't it it's a nice little uh, ground effects there when you're interacting with the ground so you're blowing up the ground to find your power ups of course there's a shield that's handy to have and I've got my shield on my little triangular ship so yes You've got to beat all these bad stars, the bad star empire, the bastard empire, of course, that's the play on words. Here we go. Taking the uranium. Very clever. Taking the piss, in other words. And here we go. And yes, blocks of poo shouting at you, shooting at you now. Fantastic, eh? Just what you need on a nice sunny day out uh, on your mission genocide. But yeah, it's a unique game, this. Like I say, 1987, so it was actually quite an early game, but a very unique game uh, done by Firebird. Uh, to have this uh, screen break ability and it's one that stands out I think and one of the finest uh, shooters on the Amstrad for me because of the uh, unique abilities that it has yes it doesn't look the prettiest and it certainly isn't got the most glorious detail in the graphics but uh, the movement and I think the gameplay ability of it is um, worth the play alone I'm gonna this is really tough now these pretty thing with faces they look like zombie care bear faces come on oh no that weren't good was it <clears throat> Um, well, anyway, I got to halfway through level 3 for your short NRG there, and I thought I'd give you a, a little whirl into the world of Mission Genocide. It's a good game, this. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Never bug. Out.